written accent is called acento agudo, which is called the acute accent in English. What it does is it indicates the stressed vowel or diphthong in the stressed syllable of a word, and if it's over the vowels A, E or O, it will open up their sound as well. So let's look at how this accent affects each vowel individually. When it's over the letter A, it opens up to the sound ah, ah. Let's look at some examples in words. Fatima, Fatima, Machina, Machina, Agua, Agua, Maracujá, Maracujá, Canadá, Canadá. Over the letter E, it opens up the sound to E, such as in Pé, Pé, Até. Até. Évora. Évora. Café. Café. Prédio. Prédio. When the accent is over the letter O, it opens up the sound to O. O. Let's look at some words. Pó. Pó. Óleo. Óleo. Ótimo. Ótimo. Móvel, móvel, avó, avó. When the acento agudo is over an I or U, it only indicates the stressed syllable, as the vowels I and U don't change sound, they can only change in intensity. For example, país, país, impossível, impossível, indício. Indício, iris, iris, último, último, açúcar, açúcar, saúde, saúde, lúcido, lúcido. As I mentioned in the beginning of this video, this accent can appear over diphthongs too, such as oi, a, and Eu. So let's look at some words. Roy. Roy. Constroy. Constroy. Anzois. Anzois. Anais. Anais. Pastéis. Pastéis. Papéis. Papéis. Véu. Véu. Céu. Céu, chapéu, chapéu. I hope you found this video useful. This was video five of the August challenge. My name is Adelina from the Sounds of Portuguese. For more information about the challenge, check out the link in the description box below. Keep an eye out for tomorrow's video where I'm going to go over how the Grav accent is used in Portuguese. Até amanhã!